This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by MindThings.com. Okay. I'm, I'm sitting here with, uh, with Stella Tremblay, uh, state rep from uh, Rockingham County, uh, and you had something interesting to tell me that apparently something happened with you tried to submit a bill that would, uh, that would uh, take some action in response to Thomas Ball's self-immolation. Uh, and you said the bill was just quashed or something kind of weird happened with the bill, tell me. Well, um, apparently I was out of town. When I came back, um, I, had a, I went down to the legislative office twice and ask, is there any bills that I pick up? And they said, no, there isn't. I mean, so then I, uh, the next thing I know, the bill um, was removed. And I said, why? And uh, at the hearing, I went to the Rules Committee hearing. I said it was all ready. They had given an HB number, but because I hadn't gone down in time to sign off on it, it's gone. So I will what, follow up on it. What was the wording of the bill? What was it? The wording of the bill, I took Thomas J. Ball's letter that he wrote before he committed suicide and took the points that he made. For example, if judges could instruct the people in front of them at family court, say, I know you can't stand each other right now, but do you realize the hardship you're going to go through? You're going to, the statistics are you're going to be homeless. Mm -hmm. You're going to have double bills. If you couldn't make it on your payment now and you're stressed financially, what's going to end up is that you're going to have even more stress. You're going to have to have two bills, two electricity, et cetera, et cetera. And Thomas Ball was very thorough. Well, we're going to memorialize Tom's death. He made a sacrifice for the Father's Rights Movement. Uh, coincidentally, he's the fourth guy I've known of in the Fatherhood Coalition that have committed suicide since 1994. Well, this is not a man who was completely, you know, distraught. It was an unjust system. Mm -hmm. He wrote, and I took whatever was on his letter, and that's what I put in the bill. I see. And then the bill just disappeared. No, it did disappear. It just said it didn't go through because I... On a technicality, I had not handed it in on time. I see. Signed off. So you're not saying that they failed to follow procedure properly. You're saying you failed to follow procedure properly. Well, when you go down to the legislative office and say, are there any bills that I have to sign off? And I've been there at least oh, three times. Oh, okay. They said there's nothing. I see. Now, I only found out that it was pulled by one of the attorneys when I went. And I think it was Jill Saifking. Saifking? Anyways, it's Jill. Yeah. And she showed up at the Rules Committee hearing, and she's the one that said, oh, we had to pull it because we tried on numerous occasions to contact Representative Tremblay, and she didn't sign off on it in time. And is there anyone in specific that you blame for this happening, or...? I think it was a miscommunication. Mm. Um, I guess next time I go down, I have to say, are you positive? Are you mm. sure? I have to sign off on this, this, and that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, but thank it's going to be brought. It's going to you know, be brought. I, I never support bill wording until I've read the whole thing, but I appreciate you following up on that sacrifice that he made. Well, he, it's got to keep alive because there's uh, over 100,000 men committing suicide Yeah. because of the unjust systems. Most men want to take care of their family, want to take care of their, their mm -hmm. children, but they want visitation, they want justice. Are you proud of yourself, Fredrickson? Hmm? He, purposely you blocked your, he purposely blocked your shot. He purposely blocked your shot. That's an old you tactic. guys escalate this stuff at every turn, and you end up with people burning themselves in front of your building. You're part of that. What's wrong with you, man? Think about your actions. Yeah. You know, if a father has proved that, you know, that he is not abusive or any of those things, then he should have the ability to take uh, to see his children. It's in law that fathers and are really important. Ask anyone. Ask a child. Yeah. So. All right, Stella, thanks so much. You're welcome. Have you played your fill of pro-government video games? MindThings.com could be the solution.
It's free, imaginative, and you can play it entirely in your web browser. Recolonize the smothered earth. Dig up cool artifacts. Compete with other players in a free market scramble. Just remember to use the coupon code RIDLEY. That gives you twice the mining rate. Mine things dot com.